one thing I want to talk about before, yeah, you know you have an article that you've brought, but we're going to get mm -hmm. that to the second half of this first yep. half yep. hour. Um, I loved in your um, in your bio the insanity of doing the same thing, yeah. okay? And <laughs> one of the things I want, to I want you to talk about that because one of the things I say all the time uh, to clients is uh, when they say they're looking at what the competitors are doing and they're going to do what they're doing. And I'm like, remember when you were about 13 years old and your mom said that if Joey jumped off the bridge, would you would jump you off on? there too? Yeah, uh, I go, why in the heck would you want to do what you're all, everything your competitor is doing? How about doing what they're not doing? Yeah. Talk about some of the, you know, insanity. That's really a good point. Because of that, doing the yeah, same things. Yeah. Okay. What are some of the things you're seeing? That's one, that's just one thing, right? Mm -hmm. Just one thing. Um, so what I see a lot is that uh, small businesses, they operate without a real market dominated position. So why are they different? And, and I ask the simple question, why would a customer come back? Is that because you're running a, a really a dull website? <laughs> yeah. Or is, is, is that because you were really nice? Or is it because you really repair the roof? Or what, what is the reason? And that's the first step. And then second, the majority of small business owners, they don't have any business planning. Oh, they don't plan. They don't. They don't. And uh, that's that. So they don't think it's about ready, fire, aim. Yeah. Yep. And mm -hmm. then uh, even a budget. Right. How many do have a budget? Right. Exactly. It's, it's pretty amazing. So every time I talk with a small business owner, where is your mission? Where is your vision? What do you want to achieve? Uh, long term, short term? And that's that should be the beginning. And there it's also. Um, yeah, f failing to plan is, is planning to fail. Oh, it, it yeah. totally is. Yeah. It totally is. And this is repeating. It repeats itself every every year. Well, and the thing is, there's no business, look at AI and what it's doing to certain businesses now, there's no business that can't be commoditized, so you yep. better figure out what makes you different. And that's the market-dominating position. Yes. Why are you special? Yes. Not, not because you repair the roof as a roofer. That's expected. Probably. Yes, exactly. So when we come back, you've got an article. We're going to yep. talk uh, we're talking talk about, about this subject. Yeah, it is. It's leading right into Let's it. Let's go we'll for it. We'll be right back. It looks forward to it. Yeah, I brought a, an art, really a small, small article, and it's, it's about the role of corporate cultures in, culture in a small company, small mm -hmm. business in general. Absolutely. And often we think about corporate culture, about big organizations. Yes. But that's not the case. Corporate culture is more a, a phrase we, we, we should use to, uh, to describe the way we are trying to, to connect, o connect all the dots cultural-wise in a company. Uh, and that's also a small company. Right, right. Bigger than one. one Otherwise, it's a little bit of a diff funny discussion with yourself. Yeah. Huh? I, you know, and here's the thing. Here's the thing that's really important um, that I say. Um, Joe knows that I always say that branding is an operational function, not uh, a marketing function. Absolutely. And that's where corporate culture comes in. Because yep. there's the visual, there's the verbal, there's the physical. But then there's the experiential, the personal aspect of, of branding. That is corporate culture. That is, and even if you are a business of one, right? You have vendors, you have customers. Yep. That corporate culture speaks to them as well. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so uh, the, the corporate culture also, it's a starting of, of, of a company. And why, why, would pe why will people work together? What's the collective outcome of it? Okay, that's, a really, that's part of the corporate culture. Um, when you have a strategy you like to uh, execute, what's the result of it? Let's talk about it. So what I see a lot in small companies is that the owner is running it. A right. lot of employees, they are there, mm -hmm. but are, are they mentally also there? Are, are they mentally engaged? Uh, I mean, you, yeah, look at the, you look at the statistics that less but than 30% of uh, in team members are engaged on yeah, a day-to-day -day basis. Absolutely. So, you know, Houston, we still have a big problem, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So informing everyone about where we are in execution of your strategy, where we are budget-wise, when they have a budget, but let's say they have a budget, budget-wise, uh, talking with your employees is also uh, is good for yeah preventing uh, uh, people moving out of the company retention. Well, and wise. you know, look at what this show is all about. This show is about inspiring and informing. Yeah. You know, one of the things with the corporate culture um, engagement and performance assessment that we do is we I, we see all the time that um, the biggest complaint is that employees don't really know what's going on. They're not being informed. They're, they have no idea what is in the head of that leader yep. or that business owner. Yep. Um, they don't feel inspired. There's no real vision or mission that they can wrap their head. And boy, does the, does the workforce want that more than ever before now, right? Yep. Yep. Talk a little bit about how you get 
your business owners and uh, to get in alignment on that small to medium level to truly understand that corporate culture is a tangible asset for their company. Well, before you even can start to talk about uh, aspects like a market dominating position, you, sure. have to, you have to know who is my customer. Mm -hmm. Now, who is my customer depends strongly on, on what, what do you want to achieve with your company, yeah, your product, your service, etc. So in order to, to get there, you have to start with a vision and a mission. And you have to start with your, your, your strategies. Keep it simple, vision, mission, strategies, and forget all the other stuff for the time being. And otherwise, you never make the jump from a strategical thinking in an operational thinking. But we both know that the majority of companies, they work without a strategic plan. Yes, and they, they think do. that having a website, sorry to say this, is a strategy on itself. Right. Or, sorry, or they just think having the a bunch of things to do on a checklist is yeah. their plan. Yeah, no, no, that's just things to do on yeah. their checklist. That's, that's not a strategy. It's a waste of time and <clears throat> a waste of money. And also a waste of time for your employees because they want to grow. They want to be part of something big. And employees like to belong to something. And when well, you have you know, a, a solopreneur yes. and they move into an entrepreneurial with some employees, take care of them mentally also. Absolutely. Yeah. There's, there's study after study after study that says that if you take care of your employees and make them a priority, they will take care Absolutely. of the customers. And, and the company as and a result. And the company yep. as a result as well. And and that's later on important, less stress. Yes, less there stress you because <laughs> it, it, it's really amazing when you look at corporate culture from one of the things that we're studying and I t shared in our prep call is that corporate col culture really is a tangible asset. We're studying companies since their IPO and who have never dipped below their IPO mm -hmm. and have had Most great stock performance. Yeah. And all the companies we have found that have never dipped below their IPO in this qualitative study have amazing corporate cultures. Yeah. And so, okay, pay attention. You're seeing corporate culture have an impact, starting to have an impact on a company being bought or not bought. Uh, I can uh, think of a perfect example of that where uh, a company ended up not being purchased because the corporate culture was in such dire straits and the owner of that business wanted to stay on and the employee said if the owner stayed on, they were leaving. And that botched the entire sale and acquisition of that yeah. company. Yeah. Tell me what you think is the biggest mistake that business owners are making um, even when they might be trying to pay attention to corporate culture. Uh, are they really interested in their, in their employees or is it only for the sake of argument or because they were listening to a program like this? <laughs> um, yeah, but, but nowadays I think what's, what you see happening is more and more difficult to get the right individual in your company. Right, right. So in order to be successful, you need to pay attention to your employees. Well, and, and there is, there's alignment. Them. Right. Y yeah. Attracting yeah. employees yeah. that are right for the culture you have as well. It's a two-way street, people. But let's let's also say Lake Norman is also a bubble. Mm -hmm. This is not the real reality all over the place in, in the U.S. Mm -hmm. I also now talk a little bit more about that. Why do you say that? No, this is a bubble. This is here. It's a bubble <laughs> <laughs> for sure. I see, but I see with small companies they have problems with, with pay payment terms and stuff like that. Cash flow is an issue left and right, but not as much as other parts. When you go to the north, mm -hmm. go to the Michigan area, go to, uh, hey, if there are some places in the US which are- Do you think maybe businesses uh, in this particular area might be taking some things for granted then as a result? No. Okay. No, I think that this is uh, a wealthy area. Mm -hmm. A lot of uh, wealth is flowing in. Okay, realtors are having a tough time, I suppose. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, but okay, they had <laughs> some great years, so <laughs> don't complain. And they don't want to change. Let's face it, realtors well, don't want ones, to change. But, but the ones that do are, are yeah. rocking it. You know, Absolute, one, of the, it, one of the companies yeah. that I featured in my Gross Secrets of Down, uh, Companies of Down Economic Times was Keller Williams because mm -hmm. they taught, interestingly enough, their, their uh, team members, their realtors to be strategists and identify, identify the underserved markets. It yep. was fascinating to yep. see. And they rocked it during the Great Recession where yep. everybody else didn't. So it's, it's really fascinating when, you know, they're... There is always opportunity for business, right? But they have to know where those opportunities are. And honestly, corporate culture is a huge opportunity for attracting customers, for attracting employees and team members and vendors, everything. But also become a fast growing company. When you are able yes. to get your employees as, as well informed and they talk about their, their 
a mission and a vision as if it is their company. Yeah. That's how okay. Work. Business owners, here's what here's something that's really important, and I know that um, the strap man will agree with me on that. <laughs> well, I'm going to be calling. I'm going to I'm going to call you strap man from now on. Okay. Um, one is, C one N. Otherwise, it's German. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> okay. Um, is that. Think about when you're at a picnic or anything, whenever you're any of your team, all of you who have employees, even vendors, it doesn't matter, but mostly employees and team members. And they, the one, what is the question that's always asked? Oh, where do you work? Yeah. What do you do for a yeah. living? Yeah. What are they saying? What are they saying about your company? What are they saying? Wow, our company is making a difference doing this. Wow, our, oh, wow. Well, uh, they change the subject. Yeah. They don't even answer the question. Yeah. Then you know you have a corporate culture problem. Yeah. Yep. And, but, but, <laughs> I think that every owner should ask the question, do you know all your employees? Do oh, you know yeah. where they live? Yeah. Do you know the family situation? Do you know the struggles? Well, and, and you know, how about talk, helping them reach their personal goals along with reaching their the, the goals that are dictated to them under their role, right? You know, in, in the Netherlands, we had a commercial on television. I don't know whether you have it here, but it was a commercial like a, a, a guy sitting on the, on, the, on the side of a bed in the, mo in the night and he could not sleep. Why? Stress, eh? we talk about it later, mm -hmm. stressed out because his workplace was not okay. Yeah. That yeah. was the way, okay, so do something about it. Are we doing that here? Do we really take care of our employees in that way? Right, right. I question it. Well, you know, you're seeing in the bigger companies, they are trying to have wellness programs and things like that. Uh, small business yeah, has a more- time a real good remark. Yes. Is the owner or the manager of that location ever seen in that workout place? Yes, or exactly. Or is he going to his private training? Exactly, practicing. Yeah. Still practi yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, well, and, but, 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 here's, but here's the thing. Uh, the leaders must exemplify, right? Absolutely. And if, if they're saying, if they're saying you must take your vacation and they don't, or if they, if they are expecting you to work all these hours and they're not, boy, that's sending the wrong messages. Yeah, it's the same like an owner <laughs> saying, you have to live healthy and at the same time he's eating his hamburger. You know, it's <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh, gee, yeah, hamburgers I, yeah. can be healthy. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> impression, first impression, image impressions. Oh, what help. actions speak louder oh, than absolutely. words? They yeah. they always yeah. always do. Uh, yeah. What would be your um, biggest uh, tip to business owners to get started on their really paying attention to their corporate culture? Ask the simple question, do I have everything in place from a vision to a mission to a strategic goal setting, a market dominating position? That's where position. you start, That's yeah. A, 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 listen well, a market dominating position. That is not a value proposition, it's much more. It's a connection between strategy and operations. Right, and gets people excited to be a part of it, doesn't it? And Guess what? what? Your, Your business, business matters. matters. Local biz now. We'll be back in a little bit.